Okay, today we are going to remove the stock heat shield and put on uh, aftermarket carbon fiber heat shield here. So really quick at a high level, what we're going to do uh, to get this done is uh, we're going to um, loosen up the tank so we can lift the back end of it and get underneath this part of the tank here. Uh, we'll have to take off uh, some of these front components here um, around the front of the tank. Uh, then we're going to uh, loosen a number of uh, the bolts for this upper rear part of the tail so we can swing the tail up uh, and the heat shield up and away from the exhaust system down below so we can actually get underneath here and remove that. So first thing is uh, we're going to use a three millimeter and four millimeter Allen's uh, to take off the uh, the front inside um, covers here uh, around the front of your tank so we can get to the main bolts. Now we're going to use a five millimeter Allen to loosen the front of the tank, uh, just so that you can get uh, this back to swing up and it doesn't bind. Now we used a uh, three millimeter to remove uh, the bolts on the seat and now we can remove the seat. And underneath the seat, we basically have a bracket that covers the back of the tank here and we're gonna remove this as well so we can loosen up this tank. So we can remove this bracket now and we can basically come down here and lift this tank up. It'll lift up, up and away like this. Okay, so you can see I've lifted up the tank, just rocked it up. I put a piece of wood across uh, underneath here just to brace it and give me some space to get underneath and also to hold this out of the way. And then there's two clips. There's this clip above here and then there's a clip below. You'll just want to pop those off to give yourself some extra room. Let's see, sorry about that. And that just comes off that way. And you free these guys up here, and now you've basically got the freedom to kind of get underneath here. Okay, so the bolt you're going for here is actually, I'm gonna use a light here to show you. It's actually right underneath the tank here. It is a four millimeter Allen. There's a bolt on each side here at the top. We'll loosen these, and then there's a bolt down inside here, right in this case on the left side, behind the, uh, the shock and the spring. This is a bit of a pain to get to. I'll show you my suggested approach there, but you'll need to remove both of these completely so that this entire piece basically is going to rotate up and pivot on this back uh, upper piece here. So when you've got your socket, uh, your Torx head in place here, and then, sorry, this is a 14 millimeter Torx, it looks something like this. You've got your, <laughs> you've got an elbow piece right here, um, and then you've got uh, the rest of your uh, extenders out to the back here. Uh, and this will allow you to kind of get around this piece here and get in there and, and get this unscrewed. This is the more difficult side by far. These loosened up top here. We've got these out down here. Um, and what we've done is uh, we've taken the bolt off that's underneath uh, the tank here, the single bolt that's in the front. We reach under here and did that. And then there's two more here that you can reach in from underneath here with long extension, five millimeter, uh, I believe. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we can lift up the tail just far enough that we can rotate this out and I'll show you how that works. So this is the magic here. If you lift up the tail just a little bit, okay, the key is to lift this guy up and rotate it to the left. Once I try to get it up and then just rotate it left and then out it comes. Check that out. The other thing I didn't show in the video, sorry guys, is that you do have to unscrew the oxygen sensor, which is on the inside here. Um, and you have to do it from underneath. And it's a bit of a pain, but just keep working on it. Make sure when you put it back on, you pre-twist this guy so when you screw it back on, you don't have a bound wire. So just getting a shot here of where this O2 sensor is at. Um, this is the reinstalled spot. You can see I got a little bit of twist in the line there. Um, this was a real pain. It just takes time kind of in a cramped spot, but get that back in. And then uh, got the bolts back in here. Uh, you can see on this bike, I don't have the, uh, the rear foot pegs and pinions, so I've got a little spacer here. You may or may not have that. Um, so I've got one more bolt to put in here, which goes under the tank, and then we just reassemble. Uh, one other quick note, I did end up removing uh, the rear mudguard. 
um, just to give myself some more space to work under the exhaust and specifically to get to that O2 sensor. So there we go. We got the whole thing back together again. And uh, I think it looks fantastic. Love the way that looks. Hopefully this is helpful and uh, can avoid some of the headaches that I had. Good luck.